all first rise of my soul family. So check this out. When it comes to these college universities, they always decline these spiritual beings. The spiritual beings who are otherworldly and, and futuristic, ultratarian, soulful, divine intelligence of divine singularity of originality. The college universities intentionally and purposely decline those spiritual beings. And they have the non-spiritual beings at the colleges because why? Those college universities, they do not need no female that carries herself like an otherworldly goddess or a male who carries himself like an otherworldly god at the university because the goddesses and god stars in the multiverse that be chosen ones who be who been gang stalked by a lot of these narcissistic slave owners and their little sociopathic psychopathic minions those chosen ones those spiritual beings they could like literally have a huge impact, a huge impact on a lot of the students at that college university. And that could be a problem for like the slave owners. And we talk about every college university. Imagine if every college university had a lot of these spiritual beings who be saying all verse rise and talk about the multiverse, all these different alien species amongst the multiverse and all that stuff. Talk about how the DNA powers with inside our cells, which is the all seeing mind, heart and soul eye of divine intelligence and divine protection. If you if they have those kind of students at the college universities talking about this stuff, a lot of the college students are going to be on board with a lot of the spiritual beings and they're just going to just not be able to be running with any indoctrinations. Because a lot of stuff that they're learning in colleges is, is not spiritual divine intelligence that's otherworldly, that doesn't help with your journey, right? So a lot of these slave owners who run each college universities, they decline as the spiritual beings. Ask any spiritual being out there that don't get a lot of views on their social medias. They'll say the same thing that I'm saying. You feel me? Because, yo... The spiritual beings, they really are the impact to this whole multiverse. These slave owners that be indoctrinating a lot of those students that they do accept to the college universities. Man, these slave owners, man, they, they don't realize that they basically destroyed themselves and broke universal laws by declining these spiritual beings. Right? That's all facts. That's all fucking facts. Because you know the college universities, right? They don't need they don't want spiritual beings there because they need to have students there that worship a particular entity, where it might be Joshin or Jehovah or whoever. Right? Because they need the college universities that's made by these slave owners, they don't want these spiritual beings there. Because spiritual beings realize there's no particular entity or, you know, these demon jam made up entities to help them with intelligence. Because the spiritual beings realize we are the ultratarian goddesses and god stars of the multiverse, the guardians of the multiverse. Like I told a lot of beings before. I told a lot of soulful beings, especially my soul fan, we souls are the guardians of the multiverse. Because when we ascend to the next lifetime, you know what I'm saying? Like, like for example, like if I ascend to the next lifetime, right? You know, I pass on to the next lifetime. My soul is eternal. And I have new lifetimes. I have new lifetimes, you feel me? Because I'm a guardian in the multiverse, just like a lot of my soul fam is a guardian of the multiverse. You know, and that's all facts. And this, what I just told you, is the reason why a lot of these slave owners don't want spiritual beings at these colleges. Especially in North America, of all countries. They don't want spiritual beings in these colleges that talk about that type of stuff because... They feel like the students are going to be very enlightened, very awakened, very aware of what true intelligence is. Come on.